This Sunday, we celebrate the first Sunday of Advent 2020. What a year it's been. Who could imagine that when we worshiped, distanced for Easter in April, that we would also be repeating that practice for Advent and Christmas at the end of the year. How we long for the way things used to be. You probably know that in September, I had a little accident, missed a step on a ladder and fractured my wrist. After several weeks of surgery and casts, I was able to once again move my wrist and began physical therapy to try to restore my wrist to its previous state of movement. And I'm well on my way. It's not quite there yet, and it will probably never quite be like it was before, but it will be something new and something different. Our Advent theme this year is Those Who Dream. And this week, we are talking about dreaming of restoration. We'll find out what it means to dream of restoration by looking at texts from the book of Ezra and the book of Nehemiah. And we'll find out that restoration is not always returning to things exactly the way they were. There's an image that comes from the Ghanaian culture that I think describes God's dreams of restoration. And it's the image of a Sankofa bird. And we'll be talking about this image this Sunday. The literal translation of the word Sankofa means it is not taboo to fetch what is at risk of being left behind. You see, the bird has its feet firmly planted facing forward, but yet its face is looking backward and holding a precious egg in its mouth. So we'll explore what restoration means as we glean from our past but with our feet firmly planted forward. Please join us this week in worship, whether in person or virtually, and be grateful that we are able to gather in worship together at this time. God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> 